do so. Amex or American Express, that's not something that Nigerians obviously use. <laughs> that's why she looked like that. No, wait. <laughs> so, in US, you don't use your PIN for cards? No, a lot of times you just swipe a card. Oh, boy! It's a very different thing. If somebody yeah. steals your card, that means they can just... Yeah. My channel my name is Chidera Steven I'm currently in Accra Ghana and today I have a very special guest as you can see him fine boy US Sierra Leone guy what's your name all right guys my name is Joannis or Joe Hatagwa I'm a Sierra Leonean American living here in Accra Ghana and I have a channel called authentic African where I do everything from vlogs to travel to how to's okay you guys so make sure you check out his channel after watching this video but today we have a very hot topic for you guys today we are going to teach you if i'm going to instruct you and tell you things that you need to know before moving to ghana these are 10 more things i did 10 things before my friend kels that was based on visiting ghana this is more about living in ghana so if you're ready let's do it all right guys, so we're gonna count down the top 10. No particular order. These are just the 10 most important things that you need to know beyond the original 10 things I told you last time. So let's do it. So number 10 is power banks. There isn't always a place to charge your phones when you're out. And because a lot of times you can lose electricity and things like that, you wanna make sure you have a power bank. So I have one of these just standard power banks. It has two adapters so that you can plug your phone in and you can charge it while you're out. So that way your phone doesn't die because your phone is absolutely crucial. You need it for WhatsApp, you need it to call your Bolt or Uber or Yango or any food delivery. So you just need to have a, a power bank or an adapter. This is the same thing in Lagos. Okay. When you are out, you need to always carry your power bank, your okay. power bank and your phone cord or your charger because you won't get places to charge outside. I'm very surprised you said you have places to charge outside. Yeah, in the US, what we usually do is we're like, if you're at a bar, you can just go to the bartender and ask to charge. And sometimes you can do that here too. But if they're not open to that, then you need to have a power bank. Now we're at number nine, and this is adapters. Yep. Super important. So in the US and in the UK, the adapters are different than the adapters here. And so you wanna buy an adapter. I have one that's a pretty aggressive one. It has all the USB ports, and then it also has any kind of plug that you have, you can plug it in. And then any kind of plug that you go to, you can use. So this one is the one that they use here, right? It's a three-prong plug. But if I go to Europe, I can use this, right? It also has the USA one, right? So it has all the different ones for any country that you're from to plug in on this side and to plug it in the wall here. So really important because if you don't have it, none of your devices will work. Basically, what he's trying to say is that in this place, the our gadget, it, it doesn't come with plugs that work with what he used to, what is used to in the US. The plugs we use in the US are different than the adapters that they have here. So you, the body plug that they produce here, it can plug into... Yes, which is why you have to have an adapter if you're coming from the US. Okay, that works. The next point is number eight. So if you are in Accra, Ghana, in fact, if you are in Ghana, please don't wear white. If you have to jump public transport, you know, sometimes if you take Uber, it's, it's better, or boat, you can ask the guy to, hey, you know, close your windows. But if you take a public transport, they call it trotro mm -hmm. here, trotro, please don't wear white because your white is going to turn into brown <laughs> because of the dust. The dust is a lot here. This place is really hot. So just don't wear white. Or, but if you have your own car, I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but please don't wear white. Choose other colors. Or another trick is you can wear a normal top. Okay. Then when you get to where you're supposed to go to the event or you can change to okay. whatever is white. Yeah, and I'll say, like, if you're in an Uber or a Lyft, sometimes they drive with their windows open, right, because they don't want to use the AC because that takes up gas. And so a lot of times the seatbelts will be, like, dusty and brown. So if you're wearing white and you go to put your seatbelt on, then you have, like, a brown stripe <laughs> across your shirt. So I've learned the hard way, so... <laughs> Make sure you don't wear white unless you're planning to tell your Uber driver to roll the windows up or you're not taking public transportation. Don't wear white if you're gonna take a trocho, for sure. Point number nine 
point number seven you need to get a good face wash if you have to stay in a car because when you go out the place is really dusty just like in lagos and trust me you don't want to wash your face just once a day wash your face twice or three times if you go out because you know when the dust stays too long in your face you might just get bad breakouts so please get a face wash that exfoliates your skin and use it once a day i learned the hard way for sure i've had a few if you watched one of my interviews before i'm not going to tell you which one so you Big look out people. Okay, yes, there was. So since you have a skincare channel... Yes, I do. Yes, and so you obviously are an expert in these things. Is there any brands in particular that you would recommend? Okay, I would recommend CeraVe brand. Their prices are a bit on the high side, but their products are really good and they contain elements that really cleanses your skin and makes your skin supple, so your skin is like really soft. And then another brand you can try that is on the average to low side is Neutrogena. I mean, that's like more popular, so you can try any of this to tested and trusted all right so we're at number six and this one is bring cash make sure you have cash on you money cash money because not everywhere you go can accept a credit card now ghana is a little bit better at it than maybe sierra leone that was a challenge i had in sierra leone but even still some of the places you go don't accept card so just make sure you have cash just to ensure that you can pay for whatever it is that you need if you don't have cash you can use what they call mobile money, Momo. That's true. But still, you need to transfer money to that. So you can just have that on your local SIM. Yeah, and I have a whole video about mobile money. I'll be putting that out soon. But in the meantime, just make sure you have cash. All right, so we're now at number five, and this is credit cards. So as I mentioned at number six, cash is crucial, cash is king. And the places that do accept cards, sometimes they ask you for your PIN. So if you have a credit card or you have a debit card, you need to use a PIN. And one other thing I think that's important to know, American Express is not always accepted, so just make sure you have another card that you can use. So Amex or American Express, that's not something that Nigerians obviously use. <laughs> that's why she looked like that. No, wait. <laughs> In US, you don't use your PIN for cards. No, a lot of times you just swipe a card. Oh boy! It's a very different thing. If somebody yeah. steals your card, that means they can just... Yeah. You see the, you see the Nigerian mindset? <laughs> you see that? Number four. When you are in Accra, you need to carry a shoulder bag. Yeah. Or a school bag or whatever. Just don't go outside with solely your wallet in your back pocket because it can fall off easily you know if you are running around or you're in the market or somebody might just pick it mistakenly you know <laughs> mistakenly <laughs> no but yeah seriously i mean look i would say you know in the u.s we're not really used to using these i think a lot of people carry their wallets in their back pocket it's not as if people don't pickpocket in the u.s either but anytime i've gone to europe or I come to Africa, anywhere I'm outside of my city, I hold my cash in places where I can see it and I can watch it. So a shoulder bag is important. I use these and I also gotta coordinate. So I have these in different colors. And the easiest thing to do is when you have it on, right? So you have this over your shoulder. In front of you. And you have it in front of you. It's in front of you at all times. So when you go to pay for something, go right here, got your little cash. I don't have that much money in my bag, but then you can pay with it right here. You see? No pass. It can store a whole bunch of stuff in it, right? So like, I have my passport in here. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, right? Basically, this makes me feel like I can carry a whole bunch more on me and not have to worry about only carrying the essentials. You can carry more than the essentials or your list of essentials can be a lot longer now. So, especially during these days when you know there's still a pandemic out there, you wanna have your hand sanitizer and then while you're here, your, your face mask or nose mask as they say and then you also want your bug repellent as well so yeah all of that can be carried in your bag and it's fashionable too. american boy number three when you are here you have to synchronize your mind you, you have to know that on sunday there's no food for you you won't get like basic stuff because almost 98% of people in Ghana go to church. So almost nothing is open. The stores are closed. But sometimes, you know, some of them open around 1 p.m. or 3 till like the evening time. But please, don't come out on Sunday around 8 o'clock looking for something to buy. You will hardly find nothing because everybody is praying to God. Africans yeah. are so religious. Yeah, I would say that's that's very true. The only time that you'll be able to find something open on Sunday all day is if it's from someone not Ghanaian. 
right? So some of the Chinese restaurants and Chinese stores are open, but in general, most stuff, especially the local stuff, and if you want to buy local, especially since you're moving here or coming here to visit, you should be buying local. Just know that nothing's going to be open before 12, if it's open on Sundays. Unless Muslims. Because they won't go to church. Right. And those people, they may not be open on Fridays or may not be open late on Fridays. Exactly. So that's the, that's the trade-off. <laughs> All right, so number two is Febreze. Whether you can bring it or you can find some places that have it, it's pretty hard to find. I think I found some at Koala and one other place, but it's really hard to find. And so we in the US, we love our Febreze. And so you wanna make sure that you either bring some or you know exactly where to find it because it's really hard to find. Not a lot of people use that here, right? So basically, Febreze or whatever he's saying, he's talking about fabric freshener yes. it's like air freshener yeah but the one for fabric yeah it's so weird i wonder why americans spray their clothes so there's a couple reasons right because it's a little humid here sometimes things can get like mustier you know or okay. so you want to spray it down like your couches or you know your clothes that are in the closet for a while so that's just a good way to give it a fresh scent okay that makes sense that works number one point hot water Okay, over here, if you want hot water, you have to boil it yourself, you know, in your electric kettle or you do it like the gas way, gas cylinder, or you have to install the water heater, then you can turn it off hot and cold. Okay, I yeah. think in the US it's not like that. It's different in the US, yeah. So in most places, you don't even see the hot water heater, but here, there's a hot water heater usually in like the bathroom, yeah. and there's like a red light. You'll have to turn on a switch, there'll be a red light on it so that you know it's heating up the water. But you need to check it first, because I made that mistake when I got my apartment. I didn't check to see if there was hot water. I just went through my normal process, and I found out we don't have hot water. So not every place has it, but you'll notice it. You'll walk into a bathroom and you'll notice it. We'll put up a video so you can see it here. A lot of people, like she said, boil the hot water yeah. and do that if you don't have hot water. But that's a whole long process, so just make sure you find a place. No, just don't, don't be lazy. You can just boil the water. It doesn't take that much time. And again, most people here hardly use hot water because this place is actually hot, just it like hot. Yeah. So why are you even using hot water? Think about this. Right, you got your AC on because you're westernized and you're used to keeping it cool. Mm -hmm. And then you want to get in the shower, and the water is just as cold as it was with the AC. Okay. It's very cold. Okay, that makes sense. Now, if you came right off the street or a workout, then turning on a cold shower is fine. It feels good. And most of the time, we have the AC on. You guys can't see it right now, but the AC is on 16 degrees Celsius right now. In yeah, here. I feel like I'm in America. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice and chilly in here. Yeah, I feel comfortable. All right, guys. So that was the top 10 things. I hope they were helpful. Again, I'm Joe Hatagwa. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. And then also check out Shadera's page. Shadera Steven. That's the name of my channel. Shadera Steven. He will spell it out, so don't worry. You spell it out and it'll be in the link in the description below. Yep. Okay, guys. So that is all we have for you. And make sure you check Joe's channel for the previous 10 things that you're supposed to know when coming to Ghana. He made a very nice video with his friend. So please check his channel out. Leave a comment. Share this video with you your friends and we'll see you in our next video because I'm going to make you another video yes. with him. <laughs> oh and make sure you follow my page. It's at Authentic African. On Instagram. On Instagram it's at um, Authentic underscore African and on YouTube it's just Authentic African. Okay. Type it in the search, you'll find it. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm not crazy, okay? I know you're a date right now. I'm not crazy, I'm normal.